All right, so yesterday I promised a video that would explain some of Laura's mix-ups and some of her quote-unquote gimmicks that a lot of you were falling for um, in the Discord. And the reason I'm doing this is mostly so you guys can learn the matchup, so I don't keep doing the same Laura things over and over again. Like half the time, I just can do this stuff, and you guys don't know what's going on, so I can just keep doing it over and over again and hit you with it. And although it's getting me wins, uh, it's not really helping me improve as a player at all. So I'm making this video to help explain a little bit of Lore's mix-up so you guys can understand and start actually playing the matchup. Alright, so first thing I'm going to cover is, so I guess the start of Lore's mix-ups come from two things. Light Punch Elbow and EX Fireball. If you get hit with those two moves, a mix-up is incoming. So I'll start with the light punch elbow. So first thing, quick go over all options I have after light punch elbow. After light punch elbow, I can command grab. I can go low. I messed up. Yeah, I can go low with leads loops back into another light punch elbow. And I can keep doing this forever if you don't block. So yeah, you get the point. And then I can also throw. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, theoretically I could overhead, but there's like a bajillion frame cap in there. If you get hit with that, something's wrong. You need to learn how to block. So, um, on a lot of you guys, uh, so, wait, anyone like below gold? Right, anyone below gold level right now in Street Fighter, if I hit with Light Punch Elbow, I can command grab them free. They don't block it at all. Pretty much. I'm talking in the Discord, I'm not talking about like random... I'm not talking about random and ranked, that's a different story. But in the Discord, basically, anyone like in our tier list, C tier and below, I can pretty much command grab free because you aren't thinking about this. So the way you beat the command grab after Light Punch Elbow is you simply jump or backdash. And if you, your best bet is probably neutral jumping it, because if you neutral jump it, you can get, a, you know, a full jump in combo if I move the command grab. Uh, let's see what else. And then obviously low, you just block low, and it's it's a 50-50 mix up. If you're blocking, you can get hit with command grab or a throw, and if you're block and if you're not blocking, if you're trying to jump or back dash, you'll get tagged low if I go low. Uh, what else? And then, oh, one more thing. So, you can, if you think I'm going to throw, you can tech there. Uh, my command grab will beat tech. But, you can tech. Um, and if you jump a throw, you're not safe, because lower, it's hard to do on a dummy right now. But if, if I whiff a throw, oops, wrong button. I can immediately do a heavy punch elbow, and it will catch, at worst it will trade, if you neutral jump and then try to attack after light punch elbow. So, beware of that. And I think that's it for light punch elbow, right? Command grab, low, throw, yep. Alright. Now the big stuff, the EX fireball. So, how I'm hitting you, I guess I'll go over, so, how I can get EX fireball. I can cancel... This is standing heavy punch. I can cancel this move into EX Fireball. And it's a frame trap. A lot of you are falling for this. You'll block this. Here, I'll even set this up real quick. I already pre-recorded stuff. So, first attack only. Alright, this is her free frame counting trap. So if I hit another button after this, I'll get interrupted. Like, this is punishable. You can punish it. It's minus two. But it's a frame trap, I can EX Fireball, and if you hit a button after, you'll get caught, and then the mix-up starts. Uh, so don't hit buttons after this move. If you just... I mean, I can sit there, you might have to sit there and block out the whole thing. You know, sometimes you might just have to put that. Oh, the guard recovery is still on. You might have to sit there and block the whole thing, but just do it. 
if I'm doing this, I'm wasting all my meter. I'm building gray life, but I'm wasting all my meter. So you just have to sit there and block it out. Uh, I can also... I can also EX Fireball off of this, Crouching Medium Punch. This move is plus two though, you shouldn't be hitting buttons after... You shouldn't be hitting buttons after this move, it's plus two. If you block it. Alright, but anyways, after I hit with the EX Fireball, it's a 50-50 mix-up. It depends, so it changes depending on what, bu what button I reset you with. So, I haven't done this a lot, but if I reset you with Medium Kick, it'll switch sides. All the time. See, I'm switching sides every time. But, I don't do that. I used to do that often, but now I don't, because if I reset you a standing heavy punch, it's a 50-50, depending on when I time my command dash. So I can switch sides. Oh, wait, I forgot to reset. Or not switch sides. It depends on the timing. And sometimes I don't even know what side I'm going to end up on. So, yeah. And then obviously after a side switch, I can throw... It's the same mix-up as Light Punch Elbow. I can throw, go low, or I guess I can not go. I can hit you if... What do I do? Sometimes I'll do this. I'll start another block swing or do Heavy Punch if I think you're going to hit a button. Because it will crush counter you and you'll get rocked. Um, I can go low with Crouching Medium Pick and do an Elbow. Start another mix-up. I can throw, or I can Command Dash if I... Alright, so that's, so all that is off of EX Fireball when I'm not in V-Trigger. When I am in V-Trigger, uh, the way, I need a new, I need to learn a new setup, but for right now I don't know another setup, so if I reset you with Captain Heavy Punch, I will always switch sides. 100% of the time. So instead of being like, you know, a side switch and then high-low throw, it's just I all will always switch sides on you and then it's just a mix-up between high-low or throw. Um, I wasn't v uh, another thing to be aware of is when I am in V-Trigger, or if you're in the corner when I'm not in V-Trigger, I can just do, I can combo EX Fireball into Heavy Punch Elbow to cash out the damage, but then it's not a mix-up situation there, then it's just, I just cash out the damage. I feel like if I'm not going to win on the mix-up, that's when I do it. And it also works if you're in the corner and I'm not in V-Trigger. It... Come on. Okay, it should work. There we go. I was just timing it wrong. Um, alright, so that's Heavy Punch Elbow. And then I guess, so, you're just going to have to guess if you get in this mix-up, you're gonna have to guess. Or, you can't, don't jab at any point in this. It won't work, really, unless I do, unless I'm command grabbing you, then you can jab. But you're probably just gonna get crush countered. So, if you're in this mix-up, the best thing you can do is just you're gonna have to guess and block. Or, if you have a invincible, if you have an invincible reversal, you can EXDP out of it. So, after first attack. And then you can EXDP out of it. Um, you can also EXDP. Oh, wait. Yeah. Alright. You can also EXDP if I'm, at, if I'm throwing a fireball there. So that's very good. Or you can V-reversal if you have, like, if you block a crouching heavy punch, that's not a bad time to V-reversal, because you'll get out of the mix-up. Um, oh, same thing with, uh, if, shoot, here, same thing with Light Punch Elbow, actually, you can EXTP through that, too. Hmm. Yeah, so if you... 
Yeah, so if you get hit with the elbow, oops, that was the wrong elbow, as you guys. And I'm, you know, I'm just mashing jab, but if I was gonna go low, you can EXDP out of it. Same thing, you can also view reversal out. And V reversal is the best option. Use it to get out of Laura's defense, or use it to get out of my mix ups, because then it resets back to neutral, and you're in favor. In EXDP, you obviously run the risk of getting crush countered. Alright, so that's Fireball and Light Punch Elbow. Alright, next is on Wake Up. So. No guard. Alright, so after Command Grab. Okay, after Command Grab. Oh, I forgot to put the Wake Up options on it, too. Alright, so this is Cammy's Crouching Grab for 3 fame move. Alright, it didn't wake up with it. Okay, come on. Alright. I thought I... thought I had it working before, but I guess not. Alright. Alright, there it goes. Alright, so after Command Grab, EX Command Grab included, I can Moody Light Punch Elbow you. And then if you get hit with this, you're back in the mix-up of I can go low or another command grab or throw. Uh, and it's free, as long as I don't screw up the timing. Um, the other thing I can do after command grab is I can dash up and command grab you. But if I dash up, I'm minus, so you can interrupt me with, you know, your fastest war normal, whatever it is. So then it's a mix-up between, okay, am I going to meet you with Light Punch Elbow, or, or am I going to dash up and grab you? So just, uh... Alright, um, so that's the Command Grab Knockdown. Throw is the same deal. These are all on Quick Rise, but they work on they work against Back Roll, too. I'm Actually, well, I'll show you. Alright, this is Back Roll. I need to... Alright, here, freestand jab. Let's see if it works. Alright, and then the command grab follow up on back roll. Alright, so that works. Um, other knockdowns. So if I knock you down with the heavy punch elbow. The meaty incoming is another forward heavy punch. This move is minus two on block, I think. Maybe, let me check real quick. Forward heavy punch. Yeah, it's minus two on block if I do the one. If I do the full target combo, that, this is minus eight, so punish this. If I do the, if you block the full thing, that's minus two. So still hit your fastest button, but don't think. And if I hit with that, it loops back into another heavy punch elbow. I should probably turn jab on so just to prove that it is in fact meaty. Hmm. That should work. Okay, yeah, I just mistimed it the first time. Um, yeah, there's that. Uh, besides doing this, the target combo and heavy punch elbow, I can also do... Oops, I messed it up. I can also go into crouching jab, light punch elbow, and then that starts that. The light punch elbow mix up again. Uh, let's see, that's heavy... Uh, what other mix ups there? Oh, and then medium punch elbow. So if I do that, medium punch elbow. It's the same... Forward heavy punch meaties incoming. I messed up it a little bit there, but hmm. My time. I don't have my time. As you can see, I don't have my timings quite down pat for meaties on this. Maybe it's not a forward heavy punch over there. All right, that's right. It's a light punch elbow. That's right. I was getting my meaties confused. So after medium punch elbow, 
with the knockdown fire. Hmm. Well, anyways, you get the point. It's a light. Another meaty's coming, or I can also. If you, I can dash up, command grab you if you do not hit a button. So. Yeah, and then that's on back roll. It looks the same on normal recovery or quick rise. So, yeah. So on wake up, if I dash at you, I'm minus. So wake up and hit a button if you can react to that. Anytime I dash in for the command grab, I'll be minus. So you can hit a button and interrupt me there. But I can meet you, so it's another 50-50. Um, let's see. So I like, that's wake up. Quick cry. That's wake up like Machabo Happy Punch. Or DX. Alright, so the next thing I was going to cover real quick is my uh, V Trigger activate. So, once I have V Trigger and I want to activate V Trigger, I'm going to be fishing for medium kick knees. Because if I get it, I get, you know, a combo into EX thun uh, Fireball. And then I can mix up there or just take the damage. So, that's what I'm probably going to be looking for. When I when I want to activate GDP trigger, I'm going to be looking for this. I can also activate it off of that. And sometimes if I can hit you with one of these, is when I want to activate it. Because then I can continue a combo. Um, but anyway, so one thing that I'm getting a lot of you guys with is... If I activate the, uh, if I activate V-Trigger off of a blocked knee. So if I activate, shoot, if I activate off of a blocked knee, I am minus here. So if I hit a button, I'm hitting Crouching Heavy Punch, right, or Standing Heavy Punch. Which is, I do it a lot, because if you're blocking that full thing, then that will lead back into this thing. Uh, but I'm minus, so hit a button here. If I, if you block, if I activate after a block, hit whatever your fastest button is. Uh, I can also command, attempt to command grab and get counter it. Yeah, so that's not real. Um, that's all, that's the main thing I was... The other things, some getting close to the end, kind of rambled a bit. I didn't, I knew what I wanted to talk about, had no script or whatever. All right, a couple of random things. Uh, this is minus two, so don't, you know, let me. Medium kick is minus two, so don't let me just, you know, rock you out. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit weird on the punish. Like sometimes Cami is whiffing, so it depends on the range. So if you aren't good at punishing this on block, uh, you're gonna have to go and just go on the lab and just have a Laura just standing medium kick like once or twice and block the first one, try to punish the second one. A um, couple other things. Most of you are pretty good on this, but if I command dash after, if I command yeah, if I command dash after an E. It's not real, I'm minus. As you can see, she's jabbing me out. I'm trying to command grab her after it. I can catch you I can catch people sometimes if they're just sitting there blocking. I can open up with command grab after this. Um uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to cover. Uh yeah. Oh I guess another thing. If once I finally get my Anna ears down consistently, if I Anna ear with standing medium punch, which is this button, if I Anna ear with this, I can dash under and stay the same side. So it's a 50 50 mix up. I can switch sides or whatever. Um, this is once I get my Anna ears down, though. Alright, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, again, I had to put this disclaimer in. This is just how I play Laura. There's about a billion other things you can do with this character. So, but, I mean, the light punch elbow stuff is pretty much universal. Like, those are what Laura can do. 
but she has a lot of different mix-ups and setups that she can do after the EX Fireball. So, uh, this is only the ones that I know and use as of the making of this video. So, I hope this helps you guys who have had having trouble in this Laura matchup. And I'm looking forward to hopefully you guys getting better. This will make me better in the process. So, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. I just want to do one quick long combo to finish the video. This is what happens if you guess wrong. So yeah, that's why learning more as mix-up is important. <laughs> Alright, um, I think that's it. Have a good day.